All right, so let's look at the uh, paste options that we have in PowerPoint 2010. So we're going to go to a blank slide here. And what I've got here, this is actually a PowerPoint or PowerPoint shapes. And I, if I right click on them, you can see that they're grouped together. So I grouped them because I want to show you how that works. So we've got this here. Now normally when I'm copying and pasting, I'll just select something and I'll use Control C to copy and Control V to paste. But you can also right click on it and as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and copy it. That puts it on the clipboard. And now if I want to paste it, uh, I could do Control V, but I'm going to use right click. So when I right click, you'll notice now I have these paste options. So it used to just say paste, but now I have paste options. And what that's going to give me is a choice in how I want to paste this particular object. So one is I can paste it as a um, as a destination theme and you'll notice that it's going to remain, if I click on that, you'll notice that um, I can right click on it and I can ungroup it because it's exactly as I copied it. Now if I, let me delete this, if I paste this as an image uh, it's just a picture now and uh, you'll notice it's got it retains the image quality and it's got a transparency so most likely that's being uh, pasted as a PNG file uh, so you can copy and paste you can paste as a as your vector or object as you copied it or you can paste it as an image and you've got some choices as well with text so let's go ahead and grab this text box I'm going to copy that when I uh, go to paste it I've got a choice to paste it as text or I can paste that as a picture and now um, when we look at it this is actually a picture uh, rather than um, text so I can't edit the text anymore it's actually a picture file and you can see now I can apply a picture effects to it so it's a kind of a neat way to quickly uh, create documents or you know one of the things I think is nice is let's say I'm using the um, equation editor and I just I just have this equation here and uh, we've got this equation and right now it can be edited but let's say I just want to save this equation as an image I can just right click on it I can copy it and then I'll paste it as an image and so now I don't need to worry about anybody coming in here and accidentally messing up the formula so it's a picture rather than um, an editable uh, document or editable text box um, and, th and that's kind of nice. That comes in handy for times where you don't want your text messed up. Maybe they're special characters or it could be something like a right to left language or something like this where it's a math formula. Or you just want to create a document. So you want something that looks like a document. You quickly generate it. Um, you paste it as a picture. Um, let's see here. We're going to add some picture effects to it. Let's say we frame it up. Um, we'll frame it up like this and you can see now it's a, a picture and something I can work with rather than um, the actual text that I have to worry about scaling and sizing and all of that. So a lot of neat features in PowerPoint 2010 with the paste. And of course um, you, you've always got keyboard shortcuts so let's let's delete some of this here. So I'm going to copy this again. Now I normally use Control V so if I use Control V how do I get those options uh, to change as a picture. So I can click control here and then that gives me the option so I can click on H to paste it normally or I can do a U to paste it as a picture. So let's let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do control V, control U and now I've pasted it as a picture. So getting used to the keyboard shortcuts is really going to speed up some time as well. And then of course you've still got your old paste options where you can go to paste you can see you've got your uh, preview options here and then you've also got paste uh, special where you can select uh, like we used to be able to do that. One last thing, if you want to turn the paste special off, just go to file and then you can go into your options here and let's uh, look at that. You can go to your options and you can um, go to proofing, where, where was that, on the advanced and then you can choose uh, to turn that off. So. Um, if you don't like that feature for or if it bothers you.